Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here reviewing the SPY. Why? Because there's an FOMC minute announcement out at 2 o'clock, and we'll see what the market does. It's pretty much been stationary sideways, even though we gapped up this morning waiting for the announcement. We had a sell-off yesterday that I think was a result of just a, a news kind of reaction about the things that have been going on in the world that sold off here. Because we broke the low yesterday, but then we bounced into the close where we closed, and we ended up closing very neutral in the day yesterday. And we gapped up then this morning. So I expected that we gap up this morning, and we could have very well continued higher yesterday if we had not run out of day. And the only reason we haven't gone anywhere today yet is because the market's waiting on the minutes. But my prediction, the stock swoosh prediction, is that we rally on the minutes today. How much? I don't know. And if we do rally on the minutes today, no matter where we end up closing, whether it's here, just rally back up to the high, or up to here, 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 or anywhere of these areas or places, I believe that we follow through bullishly tomorrow. We are coming into support, we came into support, and, and we're gonna follow through. And I really thought that we would hold in here anyways, no matter what. When I was looking at this from the bullish gap that happened back here, I thought, you know what, we're, we're not gonna pull all the way down here again. We're too close to getting over the high not to do it. We've been several times now. It's just a matter of when. When are we actually going to do it? When are we actually going to get over the high? The sooner the better. It's just who can predict. And it's one of these things that when we rally, we could do it very big. It does not have to take weeks and weeks and weeks. In other words, once we start getting going, Again, up near this level, 212, 213-ish. We, we could do it in days. Two big days, three big days. We could do it in one gap up and two solid days. It can happen very quickly when it happens. And again, like I was saying, it can happen in a gap. I just don't know when exactly it's going to happen, the exact date that we're gonna get over the high, but I know that we will. The market's been bullish ever since we fell off to start out the year. And we're waiting to go somewhere, we just need to do it. Half of the year is up now, almost middle of June, and so I think that people are looking for a reason to buy back into the market. So we'll see what the minutes say today, but my prediction is that we rally, follow through higher today and tomorrow, and basically then the rest of the week. I mean, we could, realistically, we could get over the high by Friday. I, I don't know, because I don't know how big the move is gonna be today, but we could. So we'll see exactly what the SPY does. We're still holding very, very well here in this market. We shake off whatever negative reaction we get, we kind of shake it off. We're not having any follow through to the downside and the follow through is still in the upwards direction. If you're like more information on how to read the overall market ETFs or how to read stocks and predict their movements like I've done with the SPY index, email me at melissa at Have a great day, everyone.